Welcome to the Storytellers Campfire radio shows, where we share knowledge, experiences, and pass stories from one generation to the next at our global campfire. We have a nice warm campfire going in the background to warm us up a bit, and we hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to Storytellers Campfire. This is your host, Lady Sela Sujuris, and I'm hosting for the Rare Book Series. Tonight we will be featuring songs and stories from the Golden Rod Books. This is a very rare book, and it's very old, published in 1896. But before we get to our feature presentation, I want to put a few reminders out there to our listeners. Storytellerscampfire.org, our website, has made a lot of updates and changes. One thing that's really nice about the site, it's much easier to navigate through all the information. Storytellers Campfire now manages about 12 different radio shows, everything from Author's Voice to um, the Children's Program to the Summer Reading Program, on the Line Public Interest News, The Charlie Checkers Show, The Writer's Circle, Poetry Wheel, The Rare Book Series, The Golden Ark of Treasure, Story Tales, and as you can see, there's a lot, there's a good variety of programs. So the website has now been changed so that all the shows are featured on one page. When you go to the menu, just click on Shows and all the icons for every show that is run through Storytellers Campfire Radio Shows is on that one page. You just simply click the icon and it takes you directly to either a page on our website or their own website and where that information is stored. I also want to remind everyone that the Summer Reading Parade is now in effect, which began the other day. Isabella Hart featured a wonderful book called 101 Things for Kids to Do Outside, authored by Don Isaac. I'm really encouraging parents to keep up with that program over the next 10 weeks. Isabella is going to be featuring so many wonderful books. And the theme for this summer is great books that kids can read and activities that coincide with that book so they can go outside and have a great time this summer. Also, on the 30th of May, the show Writer of a Trilogy will be rebroadcast, and this is with author John Knuckle and host Rich Gelhausen. You can hear that show on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, Tumblr, SoundCloud, and there will be links on all the social medias we normally provide for our listeners around the world. That show will air at 8 o'clock. I'm encouraging everyone to take a listen to this show because it was quite interesting to hear from someone who became a successful writer from his very first book. John Knuckle wrote a trilogy, uh, starting with The Vig, then Grit, and then Blind Trust. And The Vig won a Marble Award. And he has a wonderful following and is a very talented writer. But why I like this show is you get to really hear some interesting things about the writing processes itself. And... Some of those experiences in John's life at an early age, which lent itself to him developing a writing career later in life. So I'm encouraging everyone to take a listen to that show. We'll take a commercial break, and then we'll be right back for our feature presentation.
Hi, I'm Jet Williams. Even though I never knew my father, Hank Williams, his legacy taught me the meaning of lending a helping hand. That's why I support the Orphan Foundation of America. OFA is committed to providing education, mentoring, and a workplace readiness for thousands of teens aging out of the foster care system. With the help of OFA's support programs, these young people can go to college and trade school, graduate, and make the leap from foster care to success. To learn how you can help, visit Orphan.org. Welcome back to Storytellers Campfire in Progress. This is Lady Sayla Sujaris for our Rare Book Series. And tonight we are featuring Songs and Stories. It's a goldenrod book and it's a second grade reader. But before we get to three of the items in the book, I want to share a little bit of information about goldenrod books. Now, there was a course of study that was adopted and published back in June of 1900. And this was done through the Sonoma County in California. This course of study went along with Section 1771 of school law. And it was a course of study that was designed for teachers and trustees of Sonoma County in the management of schools. Now the board had intentionally outlined the work that the teachers needed to do in the allotted time that they had. And in this course and study, there were books that were required reading and then there were books that were in addition to that requirement that they provided to the teachers as a list. So there were different sections. There were books that were required for academic studies. There were special methods employed to help the teachers help the children learn to read. There was organic education there was the teaching of the language arts themselves, and then phonics and reading. All of this surrounding with a variety of different types of books. In addition to the regular work in reading, teachers were urged to use their influence in bringing about good, or the reading of good books. Every district was supposed to be supplied with one or more copies of each of the books that were named in the course. Now what I found interesting in examining this reading course that was set up is the goldenrod books were part of this list. And they encouraged the teachers to use the goldenrod books not in, in various different stages of a child's life. The goldenrod books were listed for first readers and second readers, and there were other series that continued to show up as the course changed through history. So that's why I wanted to present this book today. Not only is it a rare book, and it's a special book, part of our rare book library collection. This is of our own library collection. But I wanted people to see the difference in what the children of 1900 was reading and what you may hear or see today. So this is... Um, I'm going to share a, 
a little bit about this particular book called Songs and Stories. It's a second grade reader. And it was compiled and adapted by John H. Heron. And it was published by Newson and Company, publishers of New York. They also had branches in Chicago and I also believe in uh, Pennsylvania as well. Now, the Goldenrod books would often put on their pages the grade of the or the level that each book was appropriate for. And they developed a combination of books of rhymes and fables, songs and stories, fairy life, ballads and tales. In this particular book, we're going to share Robin and Pussycat, My Lady Wynn, and there's a combination of, oh, and A Pleasant Day. So A Pleasant Day is a poem, My Lady Wynn is a story, and Robin and Pussycat is a song. So we're going to share one of each of them. I'm going to start with Robin and Pussycat. Little Robin Redbreast sat upon a tree. Up went Pussycat and down went he. Down came Pussycat, away Robin ran, says Little Robin Redbreast, catch me if you can. Little Robin Redbreast jumped upon a wall. Pussycat jumped after him and almost got a fall. Little Robin chirped and sang, what did Pussy say? Pussycat said, mew, and Robin hopped away. Now, you might recognize that song. And when I first was going through some of the songs throughout the book, uh, many of them uh, were similar to what you've heard in Mother Goose rhymes and tales and things like this. But these poetical short stories developed into songs over time. So the children were actually encouraged through this course of study that the teachers were provided with from the Board of Education to not only to learn to recite the poetical story, but they changed it into a song as well. So entire classrooms were standing there um, learning the recitation of this poetry. And you have to remember, when you think about 1900, I mean, you know, they didn't have technology and TVs and all these other things. And so often at the dinner table, when the family was gathered at the end of the day, that was kind of their campfire where they shared a meal together. And children were often asked to stand up and share what they had learned. And so it became an exchange where they were taught by the teachers, they learned the recitation, and then they would take it home and share it as part of their family time. I thought that was a wonderful concept, and that was not by accident. That was actually outlined.